Hi everyone and welcome to another vlog. This one is a continuation, funnily enough, at Le Son Contenu. Literally, the sound continues. It's my first time at this festival, I've never been before. Always wanted to come, well, for a very many years and I am so excited. There's lots of friends here and lots to explore with the ateliers, the um, instrument makers stands and the dance bands as well, of which Luca Tabo is playing tomorrow night with Petit Piment. And I can't wait to see that. That's going to be really, really good fun. Uh, so yeah, let's go and explore. My first impression was like it was a mixture of the Quidditch World Cup and the Shire from Lord of the Rings. Absolutely magical. quite late. I've just been up to the showers but I've chosen the optimum time for a shower so obviously there's like 50 people in the queue so I think it's a day for skanky hair or at least until later when there's not many people in the queue. The campers friend everybody. I actually slept quite well. I've been warned about this festival being incredibly hot and the tents becoming like ovens during the day so I invested in this amazing blackout cooling tent. It did really well actually but it didn't really feel very hot last night and I haven't woken up to the morning sun so I haven't baked like a sardine in a tin. It's going to be a really nice day today. We've got Petit Piment on later and there's a dance workshop during the day and just generally chilling. I think this has got a very laid back vibe about it. Today all of the luthiers as well. Luthier as they say over here. Really looking forward to that. Go and see some lovely accordions and different instruments. <laughs> instrument makers there were many accordion brands some I'd heard of and others I hadn't I was really surprised at the great number of accordion makers out there <laughs> to see such a wide variety of instruments from Turkey and Africa, all manner of weird and wonderful.
time to eat, there's so much choice. The pizzas were incredible. This place did Andrea Lett, which is not my bag, so you can keep that. Patisserie, cheese and fresh bread, which was incredible. Escargot, you know you're at a French festival when there's snails. Crepes, of course. Pasta out of a massive cheese. And when you're ready to tuck in, you're never far from some musicians who are there to entertain you. It's the Sunday of the festival. I say good morning, it's actually like one o'clock in the afternoon, but that's how this festival rolls, peeps. I've just come to find a quieter, shady spot. There are plenty of places to come for a quiet rest, but generally the background noise here is just a bourdon of hurdy-gurdy and pipe drones. And I have to say, I'm not mad at it. I love it. It's, it feels very primal. There's something that speaks really deep within me with those sounds. It's just glorious walking around here, around the luthier stands and seeing all the different instruments from people from all over Europe, Great Britain, Portugal, Sweden, France, obviously. Such a wonderful community of people. They set up under the trees and they share food with one another. People just jamming, little tiny duos and trios, some famous bands, some just people who want to play together and they find a little tree to sit next to or find somewhere to set up and play. That can grow into something a bit bigger, but generally it just stays as these little groups under the trees. And today with the dotted dappled light, it's really beautiful under here. Dancing seems to happen everywhere. 
they have the official stages, but then there are several scratch stages where you know artists can write their name on a chalkboard and perform at a particular time. And I've seen lots of different styles of dance. Really incredible standard. As somebody who has grown up on the English folk scene and taken part in that as a youngster, I know a lot about that style of dance and I've dipped my toe into French dance but there is so much more that I am completely unaware of. Coming here has really revitalised my thinking on dance. always find that my greatest pleasure is in dance and in self-expression, uh, which I get through music, but truth be told, I haven't really been putting that much effort into my own music for some time now and I think it's... I don't know, it became a bit of a bugbear, it became something that I got a bit down about and I think the, the lazy person in me thought, well, I'm never going to be as good as I want to be so I might as well give up. And, you know, the workshop last week with Luca and coming here and sort of realising that I can do it, I just need to put the effort in, you know, I have to just kind of make the effort if I want to be better, if I want to take on board these incredible things that I'm learning out here, then it's all about just putting the time in. I'm really gathering from each of these experiences that I'm good enough, I'm worth, I'm worth the effort and I can be better and I'm already proving that to myself. I know I've not talked about it a lot on YouTube but on, um, on my blogs, um, the album that I made, From Darkness Comes Light, is all about my journey with mental health, my journey with self-belief, self-identity, etc, etc. If you want to know more about it, I'll link below to those blogs. Um, but I don't really talk about it here on YouTube because it's something that, I don't know, I just feel like you don't want to see. You want to see me playing tunes. You want to come here and learn tunes from me. Um, but, you know, I go through my own stuff as well. And I know that it resonates with many of my students who, you know, want to do better, but don't feel that like they can. They don't have the time, you know, whatever the constraints are. But I think for me, the constraints are all up here. I think if I just focus on learning and playing and enjoying for the sake of enjoyment, I think the big things that I want will, and I don't know what they are. <laughs> I don't have a massive plan, but I know I want to play for dance. I want to play with musicians and arrange interesting music. And all of that will happen if I sit down and put in the hard graft. So, this is kind of my promise to myself that I'm putting out there on YouTube that I'm going to be taking myself more seriously. I set up a Mel Biggs Artists YouTube channel, so when I feel that things are worthy of sharing, I will be putting more spicy videos over there. Because you know, if you've been following for a while, I start projects and then I give up on them. You can hold me accountable. <laughs> when I hit those goals, those highlight moments, I'm going to be sharing them with you seeing so many fantastic mostly young musicians who are very very skilled and adept in inner groove rhythm understanding the dance form that's the other thing i realized i don't really play for french dance you know i think i do but actually when i sat down yesterday and played on a, one of the scratch stages with ravi and heather i realized goodness i'm quite on the back foot here i don't really I know how to follow dance forms, but I don't understand the dance forms well enough because I've not done enough of it to really get inside the music in the way that it's very obvious everyone here does. But as I say, I know that I'm capable of doing it. I just need to dance more and play more and really listen for those details that I want to bring out in my own playing. would love to just see where it takes my own style my own music um, and I think that balance of Englishness and French slash continental style cherry picking from the different traditions and the different styles is is my passion it just died a little bit for a while <laughs> but I'm back I, I thought this morning do you know what my ears are kind of done with the drone they're done with this sound but the sun's shining and I thought you know what don't pack up don't go early let's just keep chilling let's just keep being kind to yourself let's just keep enjoying keep watching keep learning and 
I, I'm trying to fight that inner fear of being crap at stuff. I'm trying to fight that inner fear of not knowing what I'm doing because I don't like that. You know, I'm somebody that's quite in control most of the time. And actually, when you're learning, you've got to give yourself space to make mistakes. And, you know, all of this is good. Good reference for my mind. Good reference for you as well, hopefully. So, yeah, let's go and see what else is out there. I think it's all about having a go, having fun, putting your mind at rest and just getting involved. You know, if, if you can do something physical with your body, it just changes your mindset. After speaking to the camera earlier, I went and did an incredible Poitou dance um, workshop with, hold that thought, Maxime Chevrier. And he was great. Really, really good atmosphere, really good style of teaching. A great dancer as well, so there was a lot to follow for me when I didn't quite understand all of the French. We danced in the sun all afternoon and I learned about marchoise, which I'd never done, maraschine. I just, you know, dived in, did something new, really enjoyed it and proved to myself that, you know, like I did as a kid, without all of the crap that goes around your head as an adult, um, uh, you know, that I can still do it basically and I can still smile at the end of it and really enjoy it. Always thought it's really important that as someone who teaches, it's really important that you learn new things. I think this has been a wake-up call for me to continue my personal development, um, which has definitely gone by the wayside quite drastically since Covid I suppose. I've been putting a lot into my online business, I've been growing and developing a lot of online technology and providing a lot for students, providing a lot for my online communities but I have very much neglected my own skills and my own learning and coming here has really been a wake-up call in the most beautiful positive way. I think the main thing really with learning anything new at whatever stage you're at in life is recognising that you need to give yourself kindness, you need to give yourself space, you need to ask for help if you feel you need it and mostly just put aside that self-judgement which I have to say is the biggest thing that I really struggle with in any situation professional or personal and if anyone does actually have any like valid advice here in terms of putting aside that inner critic I would be really interested to hear so please do leave a comment downstairs I think that that is the biggest thing that holds all of us back and I see it all the time in my students and I always offer them all of the kindness and patience and anything that they need in the world of course it's my job <laughs> to help them feel secure, to help them feel happy in their learning. I don't do it for me. Uh, and I need to turn around some of those words, I think. I need to turn around all of that love that I give other people and put it on myself and make myself realise that if that happened, I think I would definitely hold myself back a lot less and dive in and just do new things and make mistakes and learn from them. As I get older, that's getting a lot harder, I have to say. Plus ADHD and autism have all sorts of barriers to just getting on with things and organising myself and saying hello to new people and just those very simple basic things are quite difficult at times. But, um, you know, I've done a lot of that this weekend and it's all gone beautifully well. So, as I say, I'm just going to try and focus on the small things and let the big things take care of themselves because I think if I'm looking after myself, if I'm dancing, if I'm learning my music, then, you know, lots can happen from that. So... Yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here because it's still really nice and light here. You can see the Chateau d'Ars behind me. Tomorrow I'm packing up really early and heading off to my next little mini adventure. Thank you so much to La Son Contenu for this epically wild adventure and allowing me to find out new things about myself and enjoy a little slice of France. Something that has been on my list to do for a very long time and I'm so pleased I came. And I will be back. Arbor de Ton are playing tonight, which is a Poitou region band. So I'll be able to put into practice from the workshop. Hopefully if you've enjoyed seeing what I've seen for the first time as an English person here at a French folk festival, um, you might decide to make the journey too. So check out all the links down below. Leave me a comment, like, subscribe, all of that jazz. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>
Merci beaucoup. Pas de soucis. Bonne soirée. Bonne soirée à vous. <rire>